Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across a copying and pasting error that says the file size exceeds the limit allowed and cannot be saved. So if you come across this issue in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best manage should go back to Radishy Editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on Yes. Now, before you proceed in the Radishy, I'd highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. You would just go ahead and left click on the File tab and then select Export. File name, usually I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, you just would left click on the file tab and then select import. So pretty straightforward process, just navigate over to the file location. Now that you've done that, now you want to expand the HK local machine folder. So you double click on it or left click on the arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing for the system folder now. And now you want to look for a current control set. Go ahead and double click on that to expand that folder as well. And now there should be something that says services. Expand that. Now you want to scroll down until you find a web client folder. So I'm going to scroll down here. and you want to expand that. And that should be a parameters folder. Go ahead and left click on that one time. If you need to pause the video and take note of the path that we went on, it's at the top of the screen here. Each backslash indicates a separate folder we went into. So now that you are in here, you want to go on the right side and look for something that says file limit size in bytes. So I'm just going to make this column a little wider here. Should be something that says file limit size in bytes. Like I said, go ahead and double click on that. Okay, so now in the value data field, you want to just delete whatever's in here. Set your base to decimal. And now I'm going to have a value in the description of the video as well as on the screen of this video as well. I want you to copy it and then go into this value data field, delete whatever's in here. And we're just going to go ahead and paste this in. So the exact number is 4294967295. Again, I'll have this in the description of my video. So 429 four nine six seven two nine five base decimal and then go left click on OK. Now you want to go ahead and minimize or close out of the Reddish editor and we still have one more thing we have to do here so close out of here. Open up the start menu type in services. Best match should come back with services so go ahead and left click on that and we're just going to give it a moment to load up here so just be patient and you want to go down to the web client server so alphabetically ascending order so you want to go down to web client go ahead and double click on that you want to set the startup type to you want to set the startup type to automatic select apply service status has stopped you want to select the start option and then select OK now you've done that close out of here what's it just restart your computer and hopefully that should be able to resolve your problem. Another thing you do is also try to format the drive that you're having the problem with. So if you have a USB flash drive that you're coming across this, you can always just try wiping everything and doing a clean format. However, that would probably be one of the last resorts I would personally try to resolve this problem. But I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.